fighters are garbage right now. They talk about needing to step up. My god, fucking Botamo shit. Frost got curb stomped and then just did a, some fucking Huga shit at the end, massing to like knock Goku out. But it's like, really? It's not even just Universe, it's Goku, man. What the fuck are you doing? Like, seriously, it's like, oh, I don't want to be a bad guy like you. Mate, just knock him out. Just do the whole thing that you do like last time. Just knock him on the back of the neck, throw him out, and in there. And you're not even going full power. You're just going Super Saiyan. Like, come on. Like, seriously, man. I really hate to come out into this one, like, really negative in this one. But I remember seeing, like, I saw the bit of the spoiler. I kind of got spoiled about the ending of this. And I was like, okay, I need explanations right now because it looks bullshit. And even the episode didn't really explain too much about that finale with the Frost thing. But let's just get straight into the Botama fight right now. Botamo, from what I think, they added one thing that was really badass into him, which I really did like that they didn't do in the Dragon Ball Super manga, is that he's actually sending all the attacks to a different dimension. So Goku's going at him, punching the shit out of him, and he ain't doing anything. Botamo's just a fucking walking tank. Like, he can't, like, he's just invincible. Like, you can't damage him at all. He did a Kamehameha, did nothing. He did, like, fucking punches, nothing. Kicks, nothing. And I was like, okay, this is an actually interesting thing that they're adding to Botama right now. And the whole thing, like, Goku's like, oh, I ate too much, so I need a stretch. Yo, have mine help me out, mate. And he's just, like, blasting, like, all these fires. Like, yeah, he's, like, running around. He's like, oh, thanks, I'm worked out now. I can finally go in. Not even going Super Saiyan. Not even going nothing. He just picks him up off his legs and just throws him out. And there you go. That's done. That was like in the first seven, eight minutes of the show. If you're not count like if you're not counting the opening, it was about the first six of the show. One of the fighters is already out. It's like how much hype have we had for these universe six guys since they've been Thursday now and then Botan like in the manga this is a completely the same thing as well. Like Botama was shit. I was hoping that they would have done a little bit more with Botamo, but he was still shit. And I was like, really? And then the fact that, like, fucking, like, you see Shamba crying and whining. He's like, oh, he cheated. Oh. He's like, no, this bullshit. And it's like trying to call him out saying, like, oh, he used a weapon. He used Kamehameha. Mate, fucking Botamo used blasters as well. Like, so d fuck off. That's like, it's fair. It's all good. It's coming from the body. It's an actual weapon. And then when we get to see that, Botamo just fucking cries in a corner. i like, fuck out of here. You were shit. You were absolute shit. No way to go. Like, acting all big in the episodes in the manga, doing all this shit. And it's just like, fuck out of here. Like, honestly, fuck out of here, Botamo. You don't even worth coming into, like, DBZ Super or anything like that. You wouldn't even deserve coming in the next game, how shit you are. Like, you did nothing, man. Like, it was so fucking disappointing. I really hope that, especially with Frost, with all these guys, that there's more to this arc after this tournament with these guys, and they show off their true powers, that are, like, and go full in or something like that. I want something like that to happen, like, because so far they're looking absolutely fucking weak. Then we get to see Frost, who is actually got the same voice actor as Freezer. He's exactly the same voice, and he's like, "Oh, let's have a splendid match." That's right. Like he's the complete opposite of Freezer. He's very nice. He helps people, and it's like his whole reason of being here is that he wants to spread peace around the world. Like that's kind of like what his like planet does. He wants to get rid of all of it from like the entire universe. He's had like three Nobel Universe Peace Prize, and he's like, "Oh, the God of Destruction will help you with peace." Like, although Shampa didn't personally invite him, it was more like Vados. It's like, Shampa, the god of destruction, will help you with peace. Like, that joke just writes its fucking self there. Like, I, really, do you, one, do you think Shampa's going to help you? Like, of all fucking things. Two, what the fuck does Shampa know about peace? His job description is god of destruction of universe 6 like fuck me frost i had to say it later, but that's a bit fucking dumb didn't really see that little part of the job description did you that's like going out to there saying oh i really need to find a good cook for like you know my little daughter's wedding and all that like oh i'm just gonna hire golgo 13 the assassin oh he could cook a mean cake can he yeah with some bullets in it like Come on, man, like, really? Like, it's so fucking stupid that when I heard that, I started laugh laughing. Don't get me wrong, I like Frost. Like, 
everything that we saw, I like the nice kind of, like nature of him. I kind of like the whole thing of him getting back up again. I like the frost bit. It's the ending of the fight that I don't like. Like, Goku was curve stomping him, even in his normal form. Then he comes out, like, with the assault form, which is, like, the like the second form that we saw, like that, because you had the little form, then you have, like, the big horned one, and they, they skipped that and just went into the big, real big head one. And then it was like, oh, this isn't my final form, though. I use my LA, and then he shows his true final form, which, design-wise, it's just, like, it looks like Freezer. I, like, I was really hoping that that kind of took it all out of there, like, it's, oh, this is my final form. Really wanted cooler design, and that's another thing I'm upset about. It's like... Mainly if they are hiding something, it's like, please show me that cooler design. Like, when he transforms with the armor and shit, that is cool. I fucking love that stuff. Like, I think that's the best that's, like, fucking, like, out of all the designs of, like, all the Dragon Ball villains. I really like that design. And, like, yeah, and what we saw with, like, like Botamo, that's, like, some Jadambo stuff. Like, that's really cool. Like, sending stuff to Dimensions, like, what kind of, like, what Jadambo did with, like, Dimension playing. It's cool, like that. But here's the thing that comes to the episode. Goku's going Super Saiyan, even in this form. Not 2, not 3, not God, like not su Super Saiyan Blue, just Super Saiyan at him. And this is enough to fucking take him out. But then, out of nowhere, Frost comes out with this punch, and it's just like, oh, Goku's all wobbly, he's all dizzy, and he's like, whoa, what's happening, whoa. And he gets kicked out. And he gets taken out. And in the preview, they're like, whoa, what was that technique? Like, what was that like, going on? So, here's the thing where it is. And I'm like, oh my god, Goku, you got fucking eliminated. Oh my fucking god. Like, really? Like, this is the thing. It's like, I would be more fine if these guys were strong. Or if it was like, after this, like, Botama really had him fucking in. Like, it took Goku a while to think about how to take him out. I'm still fine with, like, that him taking him out. But it's like, so like, Botama was doing a bunch of damage in it. And Goku was really trying to save himself for, like, the next rounds and stuff to use Super Saiyan. That would have been kind of cool. And then you go into Frost and it's like, he ward him out and say, fuck it. Both of them take each other out. Like, both of them do, like, a punch or shit like that. Knock each other out. They're both fucking KO'd and all that. And it's like, you know, leave the rest to, like, Piccolo, Vegeta and the rest of them. It's like... Do that, okay? That's like, good, but it's like, how are you able to just like, punch it? And this is the thing where it is, and this is kind of like, probably what's going to be the explanation with the technique, is that it's probably going to be on some Naruto Huga stuff, where it uses pressure points and nerves, and I'm guessing what happened is that, like, it's kind of the scene that you uh, think is you've been hit really, ahead, uh, like, really hard, like, on the head or something, or on your nerves. He probably punched him, it shaked his entire body and nerves, and that's why he was getting dizzy and he was kind of wasn't expecting it. And then Frost came in with the black. That's probably what it was. That, like, it was probably some, oh, secret freezer technique that we never knew about like that. It's just like, oh, fuck off. Like, it's just making look, they're just making them look absolute, like, Universe 6 look like shit. And even Kabe, he's like, oh, I've never seen a Super Saiyan. Like, so, what have you got to offer then? Like, if you're not going to go Super Saiyan, if you can't do it, like, you've never heard it from your people... Like, I really want to know, like, because uh, I don't know if, like, pick, like, Piccolo from, like, the preview, that looks actually really cool. That Frost versus Piccolo stuff, that actually looks really sick. So I'm really looking forward to the next episode. But it's like, man, these guys look absolute dog shit at the moment. They look so shitty. And just Goku getting played like that, I don't like it. I genuinely didn't like it. I don't like this episode a lot. I'm telling you the truth. And it's like, oh, people are going to come hating at me for this. And it's like, listen... I'm not gonna fucking lie in front of your face and say everything's all hunky dory. I'm not like I'm not gonna just lie in front of your face. That I I liked it personally, and it's like oh, or I'm gonna be like oh, I wasn't too sure in the episode. Like some people, like some people, be just too scared to fucking say that. I generally don't like this episode. Really don't. It made Goku look like a fucking sh uh, pile of shit. And also as well, an asshole at that. It's like, oh, I know he is my strength. Or he's like, and yet again, just not, like, he's the same thing he, like, he didn't learn from the freezer stuff. And that was the whole thing he was supposed to learn. You always, like, go easy on your opponents. You always, like, go, like, never show off your true strength. You, like, never, like, you got are supposed to go in, especially when stuff is going in. Like, Beerus could use the Super Dragon Walls to destroy the world. And, like, even still, your whole planet, like, it's going to be transferred to another universe. Like, take it fucking seriously, Goku. That was the whole point of the free, like, the whole Resurrection F stuff. It's to teach you, you, you're too laid back. And you've learned nothing from that. Come the fuck on, Goku. Like, come on. It's like you haven't learned jack shit from that. Nah, be comedic, though. Like, you know, it's just, uh, fuck off. Like, it's just like, it's really, that actually just generally agitates me. And then, like, 
the Piccolo stuff, I'm looking forward to that. Like, Vegeta, I'm looking forward to his fight. Uh, like, but Bo, like Botama was shit. Like he was just shit. There's no defending. Botama was just shit. Like the guy just cried at the end. And it's like really, I really like his powers were cool, but that was it. Like that. And then Frost, he got his ass handed to him, and then suddenly did some fucking Hugo Clan shit, and then just knocked Goku like that. So we're gonna get an explanation next week about what exactly happened. It was probably a desperation move. Probably, like, Frost could be like, well, I didn't want to do it. I feel like a bit of a scumbag to do it, but I really need to do it for peace. You know, all that peace shit. <sighs> like, I don't even know what to give it as a score. I generally don't. Like, a four. Like, a four or something like that. Because there were good parts in the episode, but it's like, just, ugh. It's such and just bad spirit as well, like... Like, I was really looking forward to Universe 6, and it just really de-hyped me a lot. The, like, it doesn't help with the Dragon Ball Super manga really de-hyped me on Botamo. And then I was looking forward to, like, the rest of this fight in the manga as well. And just to let people know as well, like, the second that, like, he transformed into Final Form, that was the last bit of, like, uh, bit that we had from the manga. That was the last bit we saw from the manga. So everything after the Final Form, that wasn't at all in the manga. And, just, and a lot of people are saying, oh, they don't follow it, though. And it's like, well, they've been doing it. Like, Botama went out the same way like he did in the manga. And, like, like he transformed as well into his Final Form. It's like as well that he did in the manga. It's all there. But nope, right now it's just like that we don't know if there's going to be a difference to it in that fight. We only have to wait to next chapter to see what's going to be happening. But yeah, I am looking forward to the Piccolo fight. The Piccolo fight looks really cool and this might be a real cool moment for Piccolo to actually have in the series. So really looking forward to that and seeing what that's going to happen. But I don't know, like a four. Like I, 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 four or three and a half, I really feel disappointed in this episode. It's just like, oh, fuck's sake. We could have so much better than this. Like we could, and it kind of cements as well that, wow, we are really just going to get 50 episodes because like people that said that was going to get like 100, I thought it was going to be 100. That ain't happening anymore unless like they want to build another arc straight after this or there's going to be some real long shit between it. But that really looks like 50 episodes of just Dragon Ball again. Let me know anything in the comments section down below. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this, but it's like, I really didn't like that episode. I felt shitty. It made Goku look like a bad fucking guy. Like, it was like, oh, I, like, he learned nothing through the freezer shit of having his planet blown up. Like, seriously. Like, and, but Universe 6 looks absolute shit right now. So, that's all from me. So, thank you much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Take me